guys are not gonna believe what Miss Jones did in class today. What did she do, Chris? You guys know Sheldon Bala? Yeah? Yeah, I know Sheldon. He and I were in the same class, first and third grade. Well, he's in my social studies class. And today in class, Miss Jones yelled at him for sneezing. Really? Man, she's awful. It's not like we have any control over when we sneeze. I hate Miss Jones. She should be fired. They can't fire her that easily. She's tenured. Oh, hey guys. How was your first day back from winter break? It was good. Yeah, it was okay. I had trouble focusing in class because I only got four hours of sleep last night. What? You weren't up all night playing Warzone again, were you, Ryan? Yeah, I was. I was up until about 3 a.m. last night. Ryan, that's not good. You need your sleep. You've become addicted to that game. You've done nothing but play that game all winter break. And it has completely messed up your sleeping patterns. It's not just that. Warzone 2.0 is all Ryan's been talking about lately. He's become obsessed. I can't help it. It's so fun. It's my favorite video game. We know, Ry. You've said it about a thousand times. And you haven't been spending time with the family either. For one thing, you've been bringing your dinner down to the basement every night instead of eating with us. It makes me sad that you're isolating yourself like this, Ryan. We miss you, honey. Miss me? We live in the same house, Mom. Hey, you guys want to go downstairs and play? Sure, I guess. Yeah, but first, let's see what food you've got. Ooh, salt and vinegar chips. Hey, Sean, let's bring the chips downstairs so we can eat them while we play. All right! Ryan, I just bought those. Relax, Mom. We can get more. Wait, do you have any homework? No. Hey, do you know where Jess is? She's not home yet. She went to go get Starbucks with Maddie. Hey, Daisy. You want to come in? Good girl. Yeah, yeah, I got him, I got him! Oh man, I died! I suck at this game. Technically, you almost got him, Rai. Yeah, but then he killed me right then and there. What a jerk. It's just a game, Ryan. Don't take it to heart. Jeez, Sean, how many salt and vinegar chips can you eat? I can't help it, bro. They're addicting. This game is addicting. We know, Rai. You said it a hundred times. I'm in the lead, guys. I'm gonna get him this time. Come on, buddy. It's just you and me. Yeah, I got him! All right! Yeah, go Ryan! OMG, Jess. You, like, have to go to the Bryce Cafe when you go to Paris. It's like the number one cafe in Paris. I tried their crepes. They're literally to die for. You're so lucky, Maddie. Like, I could only ever dream of going to Paris. Wanna go so bad. It's literally the most beautiful city in the entire world, Jess. Ask your parents to take you. If only it was that easy. I'm just so excited that you're back, Maddie. Like, you were gone literally the whole break. I missed you so much. Aw, I miss you too, Jess. Hey, Jess, look behind you. Why? Gotcha! <laughs> Maddie, that's not funny. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Snowball fights are fun. Oh, it's on. <laughs> ah! I got you, Maddie. Maybe this will teach you not to throw snow at people. Come on, Jess. Like, have a sense of humor, will ya? Hey, girls. Oh, hey, Genevieve. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up Chris. Wait, Chris is here? He texted me saying he was here. He and Ryan are probably in the basement playing Warzone 2.0 again. Wait, what are they playing? Warzone 2.0. You know, Call of Duty. It's like this first-person shooter game that Ryan has become really obsessed with. My parents had gotten it for him for Christmas, and, like, it's become a real problem with him. It's like he can't even go one second without playing that game. He's addicted, Maddie. He, like, doesn't even want to spend time with the family anymore. Yeah, that sucks. My older brother Brayden plays a lot of video games too, Jess. He loves Call of Duty. It's like one of his all-time favorites. He could literally spend all day playing Call of Duty and like never get sick of it. Like seriously, what is it with boys and video games? Like what's the appeal? Can't they like find something better to do? I don't know, Jess. 
Hey, Maddie, you want to go inside and, like, have some hot chocolate? It's so cold out here. Sure, sounds good. Come on, let's go. Hey, my love. What are you boys up to down here? Hey, Mom. We're just playing Xbox. Ryan really wanted to play Call of Duty. Hey, Genevieve. What's up? Just here to pick up Chris. You ready to go, honey? Yeah, let's go. Bye, guys. I'll see you at school tomorrow. Bye, Chris. I actually have to get home, too. It's getting late, and my mom wants me home for dinner. I'll see you tomorrow, man. Get home safe, Sean. I'm home. I brought home dinner. Hey, honey. How was work? Work was good. I picked up KFC for dinner. Oh, thank you, honey. Hey, Dad. You got KFC? Yeah, Jess. Thought your mom could use a break from cooking, you know? Thank you, Dad. You're literally the best. Fried chicken. Yum. Hey, Maddie. How you doing? I'm doing good. My family just got back from Paris yesterday. Oh yeah, Jess told us you went to Paris for the holidays. How was it? It was amazing, Dave. Literally the most fun trip ever. Mom, Dad, can we go to Paris? Someday. We just don't have the time or money for that right now, honey. You know Dad and I both work. Plus, we'd have to pay for flights, a hotel, meals out. Planning a trip is expensive, Jess. I know, Mom. It's not fair. My mom is actually on her way here, so, like, I better head out. Enjoy your fried chicken, guys. Bye, Maddie. Ryan, dinner. I'm coming. Hold on. Ryan's going to be so happy. He loves fried chicken. Yeah, but he's probably going to want to bring his dinner downstairs again. So sad, you know. Yeah, honey. It's making me sad, too. Wait, Ryan, you're bringing your dinner downstairs again? Yeah, Mom. I'm just about to beat the level I'm on in Warzone 2.0. I don't want to lose focus. Come on, honey. Can't you take a break so you can eat with us? Yeah, you've been eating downstairs every night this week. We just want to spend time with you. No, guys. I can't lose focus now. I'm on a winning streak. I just want to eat downstairs, okay? All right, this is out of control. I would have never gotten that game for him if I knew he was going to take it this far. If it's that bad, then just take the game away. I can't just take it away from him, honey. It was his Christmas present. Yes, you can. You bought it for him. So, Grandpa's in the hospital. What? He is? Yeah, honey, I got the call from Grandma today. I can't believe this. Like, why is he in the hospital? You know he's in a lot of pain, Jess. Yeah, honey. Over the past couple weeks, his pain has just gotten worse. We're hoping the doctors can help him somehow. Maybe get him on pain meds. All I can say is, things are not looking good. All we can do is pray for him. And even then, he doesn't seem to have much of a chance. I'm really worried about him, Mom. I know you are, hon. We all are. Hey Ryan, it's 10 p.m. Time to turn that off and go to bed. Hang on, I'm about to kill this guy. Yes, I got him! Come on, Ryan. You have to go to bed. It's a school night. Please, just let me finish this level first. I mean it, Ryan. It's not good for you to be staying up all night playing video games. You need your sleep, especially at your age where it's important for your growth. Honey, I'm worried about you. Oh, you're so annoying. Just leave me alone. Okay, fine. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, Mom. Hey, just wanted to come in and say good night. Good night, Mom. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, honey. Let me guess. Ryan's still downstairs playing Warzone. Yep, you guessed that right. I mean, what are we going to do, honey? He is completely glued to that game. I mean, can't he take a break for just five minutes to, I don't know, spend time with the family? Or at least go to bed at a reasonable time? We've got a serious problem here, Dave. I agree, Angela. I should have never gotten him that game in the first place. You didn't know what to expect, honey. I understand that you did it out of love. You were just trying to make him happy. And I appreciate that. 
I'm just concerned about my 11-year-old son. I feel completely helpless. Don't say that. I think you're a wonderful mom who goes above and beyond for her kids because she loves them so very much and just wants what's best for them. Thanks, honey. I appreciate it. Well, good night. Good night, honey. Good night, Daisy. Hi guys. Hey kiddo, how are you? Hey Miss Ellen, I'm doing good. Sad that winter break's over, but happy to see you again. Oh, I'm happy to see you too, Luke. Hi guys. Hi Morgan, nice to see you. I'm so tired. I only got four hours of sleep last night. Dude, you said the same thing yesterday. Yeah, bro, why are you not getting enough sleep? You got insomnia or something? I was up until 3 a.m. playing Warzone 2.0 on my Xbox. That's not good. You need your sleep, bro. Yeah, and that game is all you've been talking about, Ryan. I can't help it, guys. Warzone 2.0 is addicting. You guys have got to come over and play sometime. Shh. No talking, please. Okay, kids, please get out your homework. I'll be coming around. Oh, that's right. We had math homework. Ugh, I completely forgot. Miss Allen's not gonna be happy, Rye. Of course, Miss Allen is the only teacher to assign homework on the first day back from winter break. She's so lame. Great job, Ashley. I can see you're doing much better with your angles. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I like your shirt, Miss Allen. That color looks good on you. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Kaden, you definitely need improvement. You really need to work on your angle, sweetie. It's not my fault the work is so hard. It's not hard at all, Kaden. You're just not paying attention. Hey, awesome job, Luke. Perfection as usual. You get an A+. Plus. Thanks, Miss Allen. Ryan, where's your homework? I didn't do it. You didn't do your homework. I'm sorry, Miss Allen. I got distracted playing video games. Ryan, this is unacceptable. I'll give you an extra day to do it, but you will be losing points. Great. Great job, Morgan. You're on a roll. Hey, kids. How was school? Like, school was fine, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Angela. Can I talk to you for a second? Miss Allen, what are you doing here? Yeah, like, what are you doing here? Ryan, Jessica, can I talk to your mom for just one second? Is there a problem? Well, ever since the kids came back from winter break, Ryan's been having quite a bit of trouble. For one thing, he hasn't been paying attention in class, he's been getting easily distracted the past couple days. You know, talking during class, simply dozing off, and also he failed to complete his homework. Wait, he had math homework last night? Ryan, yesterday you told me you didn't have any homework. You lied to me. I'm sorry, Mom, I forgot. I forgot that Miss Allen assigned homework. I mean, none of my other teachers did. You can't forget these things, Ryan. These are your responsibilities. You're never gonna get through life if you're not responsible. I know, Mom, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. It better not happen again, or else you're gonna be in big trouble. I need to admit, I'm quite concerned. I mean, this isn't like Ryan at all. He always finishes his homework on time. And he's also been doing a lot better in math since I started tutoring him during lunch. By any chance, is he struggling with the transition back to school? You know, to get back into the swing of things? I know a few of my students have struggled with that when coming back from break. No, it's not that. We got Ryan this Xbox game for Christmas that he's been wanting for a long time. Warzone 2.0, I think it's called. Some Call of Duty game. And he's become obsessed. 
Ever since Christmas, he's done nothing but play that game all day. It has become such a distraction from things like his schoolwork, responsibilities, even spending time with the family. He won't even eat dinner with us. He's had to bring his dinner down to the basement every night so he can play his Xbox while he eats. Ever since Christmas, we've had to eat dinner without him. And he hasn't been getting enough sleep either because he stays up until all hours playing that game. Trust me, I'm worried about my son. Listen, I'm a mom of two boys myself, so I completely understand. We have a very similar problem with my oldest son. He's obsessed with his Nintendo Switch, and it distracts him from his schoolwork and everything. He doesn't even want to play outside. All he wants to do every day after school is play Mario Kart. Now, my husband and I have a rule where he has to do his homework first thing when he gets home from school, before he does anything else. So far, it's worked out pretty well. I mean, he's been doing a lot better in school. His grades have improved. That's good. I'm glad it all worked out for you. What I'm trying to say is, maybe have a structured routine of some sort when it comes to homework. I mean, it worked for my son. Maybe it'll work for Ryan too. Don't worry, Lisa. I will talk to him. I'll make sure he gets his homework done. Thank you. Okay, well, I've got to go pick up my sons from school. Ryan, I'll see you tomorrow. Please bring in your homework. Jessica, I'll see you at cheer practice. Bye, Miss Allen! Just get in the car, kids. I'm very disappointed. Okay, Ryan, we need to have a serious talk about your Call of Duty obsession. It's gone completely out of control. It's all Miss Allen's fault. She just had to assign homework on the first day back from winter break. She's so annoying. Miss Allen didn't do anything wrong, Ryan. You've been completely neglecting your responsibilities. And it's not just the homework. You haven't been getting enough sleep. You're going to bed way too late. You're not spending time with the family. We need to get your priorities in order, Ryan. Now, starting today, when we get home, you have to finish all of your homework before you're allowed to do anything else. That includes playing video games, watching TV, having any friends over, even playing with Daisy. Come on, Mom. I had a long day at school. I just want to relax. I'm serious, Ryan. If you don't shape up, then I'm taking your Xbox away. What? No! Then I won't be able to play Warzone. Please don't take my Xbox. Then you better listen to me, Ryan. Now remember, as soon as we get home, homework first thing. Okay, honey? That way you get it out of the way and you can enjoy the rest of the day. Ugh, fine. I'll do my homework first. Hold on. It doesn't end there. You also have to be in bed by 10 p.m. on school nights. That means at 10 p.m., everything gets turned off. The Xbox, the TV, your iPad, everything. What? Mom, I'm not a little kid. Why can't I just stay up as late as I want? Because it's very important that you get a good night's sleep for school. Not only that, but you're a growing boy, Ryan. You need your sleep. At your age, you should be getting eight to nine hours. I'll let you stay up a little later on weekends, but on school nights, 10 p.m. And this applies to you too, Jess. Wait, you're involving me in this? Technically, yes. I need to say you've actually been pretty good with getting your homework done and everything, but you do tend to get easily distracted by your devices. I mean, last night when I came in to say goodnight, you were on your phone when you were supposed to be in bed. Relax, Mom. I was texting my friends. Also, I used my phone as an alarm. That's perfectly fine, Jess. There's nothing wrong with that. You just shouldn't be on your devices that late at night. And you certainly shouldn't be texting your friends past a certain time. You've got to let them go to bed too, you know. What I'm saying is, I'd like for you to put the phone aside at 10 p.m. on school nights. And please make sure to close your laptop by then too. And lastly, Ryan, no more bringing your dinner down to the basement. From now on, you are to eat at the table with us. What? Why that rule? Because it's important that you spend some time with the family. Yeah, right. Like, you shouldn't take the time you have with your family for granted. Because you never know what's going to happen. Like, what if our parents get into, for example, a car accident? 
Oh, Jess, I don't want to think about that right now, especially while I'm driving. But she is right, Ryan. You know Dad and I aren't going to be around forever. So please, at the very least, have dinner with us. Ugh, fine, I'll eat at the table with you. Thank you. We look forward to having dinner with you. Okay, Mom, I finished my homework. You finished your homework? Yeah. Can I go play Warzone now? Yes, you can go play Warzone. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. I love you. I love you too, honey. Doesn't it feel good to get your responsibilities out of the way? Yeah, because it means I don't have to do my homework later. Exactly. Now, we'll be eating around six. You're gonna eat with us, right, Rai? Yeah, I guess. Are you actually going to pause your games so you can come sit at the table with us? Ugh, yeah, Mom. I'll be downstairs. <sighs> okay, honey. Come on, Daisy. I'll let you out.